Bang, aaga ng mga bata to ah. Very good. Gustong gusto mag-aral. Eugeline, bakit dalawa yung ano mo? Kam yung isa wala. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen? Meron pa naman tayong 15 minutes. Sige, kumain muna kayo. <laughs> Habang inaantay natin yung iba. Hindi na. Don't put it there. Dito na sa sahig. Miss Kat, hmm, yes, yung Reg po, hindi na po narinig pa, ikaw po. Reg, hindi ba ako naririnig? Regeline, hindi mo ako naririnig? Um, baka nandun sa audio niya. Sabi na natin. Nag-aapo na si Regeline. Okay, call nyo na yung iba niyong ka-classmates. Ah, hindi pa nila nakikita. Nakikita niyo ba yung screen ko? Nakikita niyo ba class yung screen ko? Uh, class, can you see my screen? Miss, hindi po. Okay. Bye. 
Hindi nyo nakikita yung whiteboard ko? Oh, you missed. Hindi po. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ito ba? Miss, may kita na, miss. Okay. Okay. So, ready na kayo? Napag-aralan niyo na ba maiki rational expressions? You now know kung paano going fraction and decimals. Alam niyo na ba? Class. <coughs> Can you make this a fraction? You just need to write yung mga sagot nyo ha, privately. Para yung board ko lang yung makikita. Make this a fraction. Pwede pa paliitin? Yan na ba? Ang pinaka-final nyo? Princess, is that your final answer? Okay, very good, princess. You got it right. Okay, Denise, very good. You got it right as well. Sino pa? Sophie, what is your answer? Sophie, may answer ka na ba? Where's your answer? Type it, type it privately, huh? Okay, so to make this a fraction, ano gagawin natin? This is equal to 20 over 1. 
ba? So, ito ang fraction niya. Hindi one-fifth. <laughs> Ay, ako, nalimutan na gaan ng mga bata nito. Ah. Ano? <laughs> Ah, uh, princess. <laughs> Makalimutin. Okay, makalimutin. Denise, nakita mo na, lalagyan mo lang na ah, over one. Kasi ang whole number, naging over one yan. Okay? Oh, so, let's have another example. Nagre-review pa lang tayo. Ah. Wala po yung operation dito. Ah. Ako po, na-trick ko agad kayo. <laughs> This one. Can you make this a fraction? Let me see your answers. Okay. Okay, si Princess. Tama si JC. Let's uh, see Annika. Chloe, uh, you have to reduce it to lowest term. But Denise. So Denise, and so good. So Bagay mo fraction, wag po na pakailaman itong whole number. And then, itong 2, gagawin na word. So, if you're going to rewrite this sa written form, this is 2 tenths. Kaya pag 2 tenths, ang initially nun, 2 over 10. Diba? And then, we can get the GCF. Ano GCF niya? 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 1 and 1 fifths. Okay? Get it? Okay, next. Let's go to the next one. Kaya niyo na ba? Wala na ba kayong question? Okay. Ito naman. Let's go to another one. Two percent. What is the fraction form of two percent? What is the fraction form of two percent? So, anong gagawin nyo muna kapag Okay, so pag ginawa nyo, ano unang gagawin nyo? Okay. 
Okay, how about the others? Okay, so the right answer is, sigurado na ba kayo dyan sa sagot niya? Okay, ang tumama lang ay si Princess. Bakit 1 over 50? Bakit 1 over 50? Kasi itong 2%, okay, pag tinanggal natin si percent, di ba? And dito yung decimal niya. Then let us move to places o punta sa left. So nandiyan na yung kanyang decimal. Ganito siya pa ginawang decimal form. Okay? So pag ginawang ganyan yung decimal form niya, paano naman ngayon ang kanyang fraction form? A fraction form niya, this is read as, ano? This is read as 2 over 200. So, ano ang kanyang GCF? 2. That's why you got 1 over 50. Okay? May question ba? Question ba? Okay, let's go to another one. Okay, make this a fraction. Daddy. Oh, wait lang class ha. May nahanap lang ako. So, what are your answers? Okay, very good. So, we have one half. One half. Okay, bakit one half? Kasi pag ginawa mo decimal ito, mag-move siya, di ba? One, two. So, this becomes 0.50. And kapag ni-read mo siya, magiging 50 over... 100 and 50 over 100 is also equal to one half. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Let's have
Sige, solve lang kayo dyan. Kids, wait lang. May kukunan lang ako. Belong. Did you have about the others? Okay. In the left. Okay, na ba? Oh, sino na pa ako? Parang nakakuha lang yata si Delia. Ari Jeleen. Mali. Okay, tama si Princess, tama si Kyla. How about the others? Okay, so, sirat na. Okay, Rijaline, wahaboy ka pa, very good. So, tingnan nyo to, yung decimal point natin ay nandito, di ba, sa 1.5. So, mag-move yung decimal point at magiging 0.015. Yun na magiging decimal na katumbas niya. Okay? So, pag in, pag, if we are going to read this one, this will be 15, 15 thousands. So, 15 over... 1,000. 1,000. What is the GCF for this one? 
5. So 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3, and 1,000 divided by 5 is equal to 200. May GCF pa ba 3 at 200? Wala na. So this one is our final answer. Answer. Okay, did you get it? Huh? Everybody? Kapag ano, um, dahil di ko kayo naririnig, you give me a thumbs up. Okay? Pagkita niyo sa akin yung thumbs up sa camera niyo. Okay? Everything clear? Give me a thumbs up. Pagkita niyo sa, sa camera niyo, I can't see your thumbs up. Uh, Delia and Kyle, uh, si Kyla, I can't see your... Dito pa ba si Princess? Parang wala si Sophie, tsaka si ano, Princess. Ah, ayun, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, next. So, dahil alam niyo na yan, let's go to operations of rational expressions. Okay? So, we got... One half plus two thirds. What is our method? What will be our method? Oh. Sige, antayin lang natin, JC. Um, dito sa rational expressions, as much as possible, huwag na natin gawing mixed number. Okay? So, for fractions, sa elementary, you can convert it to mixed number. Pero dito sa, pag nasa high school na kayo and you're going to use um, rational ex numbers, pang algebra na to. Okay? Pang algebra na yung term, so hindi tayo nag-mix number masyado. Is that your final answer? Same with Sophie. Eileen, that is wrong. You see, you might want to change your answer to mixed number. Same with Delia. Oh, 
Okay, anong method ang ginamit mo? What method can be used here? We can use the LCP method wherein you're going to find the GC of the least common denominator. Ano yung least common denominator ng dalawa? Ano yung least common denominator ng 2 at saka 3? Pag sinabing least common denominator, pinukuha natin yung multiples niya. 2, 4, so magsiskip counting ka. 6, 6, 8, 10. Okay? Dito naman. So, 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay. So, meron pa tayong common? Meron. 6. Ay, 6. So, kapuan yun na na. 6 yun. This common denominator. And 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 times 1. Times 1, we got 3. 3. Okay? Next, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 times 2 is equal to 4. That's why you got 7 over 7 over 6. Okay, 7 over 6. Okay? Any questions? Now let's go to another one. Ano yung nagda-drawing? Ako lang magsusulat sa board. Okay. Try to solve that one. got the correct answer. Yes, Rigeline, you are wrong. Hindi ba pala si masakot si Rigeline? Anong unang gagawin? Are you sure of your answer, Lacey and Hannah? Okay, why are you getting the same answer? Minus yan, ha? Mali pa rin, Rijaline. Kaila Marie din. Mari, mari, mari rahat kayo. That is subtraction. 
Nahihirapan na. Hello. Come on, mali din. Oh, who wants to answer? Who? Okay, so female they are. Oh, let us check. Tignan natin kung tama yung mga answer niya. Okay, ba't kayo nakikisulat dito sa board ko ha? Okay, so we have another method. Diba na ituro ko na sa inyo to? The butterfly. Oh, okay. Okay, kapag nahihirapan kayo sa LCD. Okay, you can use this one. So, ang butterfly natin ay may mga pakpak. May buntot. Merong antenna. So, 6 times 10 is 60. 5 times 10. 5 times 10 is equal to 50, 6 times 7 is equal to 42. 42. So, sulat natin dito, 50 minus 42 is equal to 60. 50 minus 42, ilan? 8 over 60. Okay? 8 over 60. Ngayon, what is their GCF? Kaya pa ba ito paliitin? 430. Ha? Kaya pa ba ito paliitin? Yes. Yes. O, oh, sige. Paliitin natin. Yes. By? 4 over 30. Oh, 4 over 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 60 divided two. by 4 is? What? 15. Right? <laughs> oh, nakuha niyo ba? May nakatama ba tayo ng sagot? Wala. Bakit? Makalimutan na. Okay. So, pag subtraction at mas malalaking numbers, uh, mostly ginagamit natin dito ay butterfly method. That's just a shortcut hindi lahat nakakaalap yan. Okay? Pero tinuturo ko sa'yo. Yung iba, kaya medyo mas nadadalian sa LCD pag mabilis na kayo. Pero pag uh, medyo novice pa kayo sa sa rational numbers, yan ang gawin niya. Okay? Understand? Okay, let's have another one. Erase ko muna ito ha. Ano yun? Ano yun? Paano naman kung ganito ang binigay naman sa inyo? Try to solve this one. Uh, 
I have a gen and butterfly method. So, to use. Hindi. Kasi yung butterfly method, may dalawa lang na wings. So, ayan, tatlo. Hindi mo pwede yung tatlong wings ng butterfly, di ba? Okay, may nakatama na ba? Isa. Very good, Sophie. Okay, para very good din, JC. Okay, very good, Rijaline. Ayan, kaya-kaya na talunin si na Raul niyan, ha? Next year, ha? Pati si na Harvey, ha? Dapat matalo niyo na yung mga yun, ha? Very good one. Okay. Oh, kumahabot si Delia. Oh, si Delia at si JC. Mukhang tatagunin si ano ah. Si Jacob at si Lance. Oh, si Princess din. Okay, wala na magbibigyan ng sagot. Let us try to solve this one. Dahil tatlo to, hindi pwede ng hindi pwede ng butterfly method. So we get their LCD. Their LCD is 20. Okay, kasi itong 4 at yes. saka 5 ay may 20. Diba? 4 times 5 is 20. At itong 20 meron din 20. Okay? Then 20 divided by 4 we have 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 15. Minus 20 divided by 5. 4, four. times 1 is 4. 20 four. divided by 20. 1. By 1 times 1. So, pag nag-divide ta ay pag nag-subtract tayo ng signed numbers, change the sign of the subtrahend, and then proceed to addition. So, 15 plus negative 4. 15 plus negative 4 is positive 11. Diba? So, kung positive 11 na yan, change the sign of the subtrahend again, and then proceed to addition. So, positive 11 plus negative 1, we have 10 over 20. Okay, 10 over 20, what is their GCF? 10. So, we got 1 half. Okay, any questions? None? Question ba kayo? So, you see na hindi nakasagot. Mira ba? Oh, try this one. Oh. Yes, yeah, Sophie, what is it? Can you type in your question? So, ano tinuro ko sa inyo? Ito sa rational numbers, walang mixed number. So, what are you going to do pag nakakita ng mixed number? Gagawing improper fraction. Improper. Or we have another way of doing this. Can you find another way? Paano mas mapadali yan? 
na hindi pa kay kailaman yung mga whole numbers. Oh, hindi mo ako masyado marinig. Why? May maingay ba? Sige, try to solve that. Napakadali lang yan, ha? Finish? Oh, okay. How did you get that, JC? That's wrong. Very good, Sophie. You got it right. Oh, you need back. One. Okay, very good. One again. How about the others? Oh, JC Malay. Oh, lucky naman yan, Delia. Super lucky. Okay, Rijaline, you got it right as well. Oh, how about the others? Oh, lucky then, Annika. Maraki Masharo. No whole number natin dyan. Princess, walaki din. Mari, Mari. Mari din, Chloe. Hmm, sige, let's have a clue. Okay. Ito. You can make 16. Magkaroon ng fraction. Okay? Ito. Kuha tayo ng isang part sa kanya para maging fraction siya. Pakuha po ng isa. Okay? So, 50 na nalang natira. Yung isa niya na isang whole. Let us borrow. So, dahil ito ay 9, gayahin na natin siya na 9. Para hindi na tayo may mahirapan maghanap ng LCD. Okay? And then, so pareho na yan. We are now subtracting two fractions with the same denominator. So 15 minus 4, we have 11. 9 minus 5, we have 4. And just copy the denominator. Okay, did you get it? Hmm? Yes. Sino hindi nakakuha? Yes. Sino hindi nakakuha? PM nyo ko. Okay, so lahat nakakuha. Uh, let's try another one. Kaya na ba? Kaya na? Yeah. Mm, try that one.
Okay, may answer na po, Sophie Malay. Malid and Rigeline. Saka lang. Ah, tama pala si Sophie. Sorry. Okay, Denise. Very good. Girl, correct. Sino pa? Princess. Very good. Bon. Tama. Um, Kyla, is that your final answer? JC, medyo malayo. Okay, wala. Mali si Dalia. Mali rin si JC. So, what will be our answer? So, in this case again, let us try to answer. Malaki na naman ulit at dalawa lang. So, we can use the butterfly method again. Diba? Dalawa lang siya. Pwede natin gamitin ulit yung butterfly. Don't forget the butterfly. Diba? 12 times 9 is equal to 108. And 9, 11 times 9 is 99. Minus 12 mi times 5 is 60. So 99 minus 60 is equal to 39 over 108. May GCF ba sila? May GCF ba? Yes, we can still simplify this by 3. Okay? Divided by 3. Nakalimutan nyo na ba yung divisibility rule? If you're going to add this 3, Plus 9, we have 12. So, ibig sabihin niyan, divisible siya sa 3. 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. So, divisible siya. 39 divided by 3 is equal to 13. Okay, 108 divided by 3, we have 36. Huwag niyo kalimutan yung tinuro ko sa inyo ng grade 6 kayo, ba? Tinuro ko yan, divisibility rules. Okay, so let's have, so may question pa ba kayo sa addition and subtraction? Wala na? Now, let's go to multiplication. 5 over 9 times 7 over 10. Okay. 5 over 9 times 7 over 10. What is the rule? May different rules tayo dito sa multiplication of rational numbers. Okay? Kapag multiplication, okay, kung may nakikita kayo na yung isang numerator at saka yung isa ay denominator, pwede na agad paliitin. Like this one, 5 at saka 10. Dapat yung isang numerator yung isa ay denominator. So, ano ang GCF ng dalawa? 5. Diba? So, 5 divided by 5, we have 1. one. 10 divided by 5, we have 2. two. Okay, 7 and 9, pwede ba? 
cannot be. So, may, pwede na tayo ngayon mag-caterpillar method. 1 times 7, 7. 9 okay. times 2, 18. 18, very good. So, pwede pa ba natin palitin ng 7 over 18? Mm, ina. So, that is our final answer. Any questions? May question ba? Okay, wala na. Kung wala na, let's proceed. I'll try this one. Three fourths times eight over fifteen. Sige. Try that one. Sa addition and subtraction, hindi pwede mag-cancel. Okay? Sa multiplication lang lagi. Okay, very good, Sophie. Ang bilis mo na. Um, Dalia, medyo mali. Okay, very good, Denise. Bumibilis na rin si Denise. Annika, go. Princess, wrong. Okay, Chloe, makatama. Bon, tama. Kyla, mali din. Dahan-dahan lang ang pag-cancel. Huwag ura-urada. Dahan-dahan lang, ha? Oh, mali pa rin, Kyla. Okay, tama si Bea. Okay, let us try to answer, ha? Huh? So, we have 3 fourths times 8 over 15. Meron ba tayong mga pwedeng paliitin? Meron. This one, si 3 at saka si 15. Ang GCF niya ay 3. So, 3 divided by 3, we have 1. 15 divided by 3, we have 3. Tama ba? 15 divided by, ay sorry, we have 5 pala. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And the next, 4 at saka 8. Ang GCF nila ay 4. So, 4 divided by 4, we have 1. And 8 divided by 4, we have 2. So, 1 times 2. Let's do the caterpillar. 2. 1 times 5, we have 5. And that's it. Okay? So, Regeline, mali yung 3, ha? Okay, next. Let's try a bigger number. Okay. Oh, Regilin, nagpupup ka? Oh, what is the answer?
Okay, very good to Chloe, Sophie, Dahlia, Princess, Denise, Annika, Kyla. Okay, very good lahat ah. So, sino pa yung di pa nag-submit? Okay, let us try. 9 and 27, our GCF is 9. 9 divided by 9, we got 1. 27 divided by 9, we got 3. Then, 25 at saka 100, ang GCF nila ay 25. So, 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 mm. divided by 25 is 4. four. So, 1 oh. times 1, we got 1. one. 4 times 3, Good. we have 12. Very good. Okay. Okay. So, naman natin to. Mm, try to solve that. Don't reduce it to lowest term. I'm oh, sorry. So, what do you do with mixed number? Okay, very good, Chloe. Okay, Tamar Dinsi, JC. The princess, Tamar Din. Okay, so anong ginawa natin? So, itong whole number. Hindi natin pakikialaman. Hindi natin pakialaman. Whole number na yan eh. So, 5 times 10 is 10. Ano lang pakikialaman natin? Ito ang si fraction. 3 and 6. Okay. Can be reduced to lowest term. 3 divided by 3. 1. 6 divided by 3. 2. Okay. 1 times 1 is 1. And then 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. Nakuha ba? Any questions? May question ba? Kung wala, let us proceed. What is the answer there?
ito na ang katama ng sagot. Ten and three over seven times fourteen. Mayroon ba? Mayroon ba? Malay. Malay lahat. Okay, let me give you the answer. 10 at saka 14, whole numbers to. Okay. So, si 14, wala namang fraction. So, walang kalaban si 3 over 7. Ang kalaban niya lang, ito si whole number. So, 10 times 14 is equal to 10 times 14. 100. 40 and 3 over 7. Hmm. Bakit nyo ba pinipilit ko kayo laman si 3 over 7? <laughs> okay. So, huwag nyo pa kayo laman kung wala namang kalaman si fraction. Okay? Any questions? None. Hmm. Sige. <laughs> Okay, talaga po lang kailangan niyo yung interaction eh. Okay, 9 over 10 times 5 over 3 times 3 over 8. Try that one. Okay, very good, JC. Very good, Sophie. Nakunguna lagi si Sophie, ah. Um, Hannah, very good. Kyla, tama rin. Vaughn, tama. Oh, sila pa. Cancel, cancel lang yan, ha? Okay, tama Rijalin. Oh, wrong princess. May mali kang na, ano, na lowest term, na lowest term mo masyado.
Tama, Anika. Okay. Ready now? Let us try to solve. Okay, let us try to solve, huh? Okay, so yung pinaka mabilis na maging 1, yun ang una nating i-cancel. Okay, so 3 and 3 is equal to 1. Ano pa? Ano pa ba? Ito, si 5 at saka si 10. Ten. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, 9 times 1 times 1 is equal to 9. 2 times 18 is equal to 16. Okay? As much as possible, okay, ang pipiliin nyo ay yung may magiging 1 na agad. Okay? So, in this case, baka yung iba ito ang pinili. Si 9 at saka si 3. Porkit nakita si 9 at saka si 3. Well, ang una mong piliin at ito para maging one agad sila. Okay? Yung pinaka madali na magiging pinaka lowest term, yun ang piliin nyo agad. Okay? O pampalito si 9. Pero tingnan nyo, naiwan pala siya. Diba? Okay? Everything clear? Now, let us go to division. Kaya nyo na kaya sa division? Division of rational numbers. Okay? Division of rational numbers. So, what is the first method in dividing? Sino may electric pan dyan? Tanggalin yung electric pan. Divided 8 over 9. Divided by 4 over Okay? So, what is the first method pag nagdi-divide tayo ng rational numbers? The first is get the reciprocal. Diba? Reciprocal of the divisor. At ano ang reciprocal ng divisor? Asa ba yung divisor natin dito? Yung pangalawa. Okay? So, pag sinabing reciprocal, babalik ka rin mo yan. Okay? The next one. Change the operation to multiplication. Okay. So, ito magiging division. So, tingnan natin. Ha? 8 over 9. Then, the reciprocal of the divisor. 15 over 4. Or... And then, change to multiplication. Now, meron ba tayo maka-cancel dito? Yes, meron. What is their GCF? 4. Diba? Four. So, 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Oh, meron pa ba? Ito. 9 and 15. Diba? Ano ang GCF nila? 3. So, 3. Ay, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Five. So, we have 10 over 3. And that is the final answer. Okay? May question pa ba? May question pa ba kayo? About the division. Wala na. Let us try to solve another na. 5 and 1 fourth. Ano naman kung mixed number ang binigay ko sa inyo? Okay, try this one. Ano kung mixed number? What is the first thing to do kung mixed number yan? Change to improper fraction. Change to improper fraction. So, kapag nakakita kayo ng mixed number, you need to change 
to improper fraction. Okay? Change that to improper fraction. So what is the proper fraction of this one? <clears throat> we multiply 5 times 4, that is 20, plus 1, we have 21, 21 over 4, okay, next, this one. 3 times 8, 24, plus 3, which is 27, over 8. Now, let us proceed to division na, no? So, 21 over 4 times 8 over, over 27. Diba? So, kinuha lang natin yung reciprocal nito. And then we change the operation to multiplication. And then may mga nakikita tayong pwede going lowest term, like 21. 21 and 27 is divisible by 3. So 21 divided by 3, we have 7, ito ay 9. 9. And we also have 4 and 8, so GCF nila ay 4. So 4 divided by 4, we have 1. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So what is our answer? 7 times 14 2 over 9. 14. 1 times 9 is 9. And that's okay. the answer. Any questions? Isa na lang ha. Then we are going to have a test. Uh, PM nyo ako kung may question pa kayo. Seven over ten divided by five. Okay, very good, JC. Very good, Hannah. Tama, Sophie. Tama, Kyla. Tama, Rizivon. Denise, tama, Ren. Very good. Hmm, okay, you want to answer Baba? Very good, princess. You got it right. Baba. Nirapan ba? Anika, tama din. Okay, let us try to solve. 
Okay, what is the reciprocal of five? One over two. Huh? One over five. Um, Kasi diba laging over one yan, ang whole number. Then let us proceed to multiplication. Tama? Meron ba tayong pangpapalik dito? Wala na. Kaya, let us go to Caterpillar automatically. 7 times 1 is 7. And then times 5 is 50. So, 7 over 50. Okay? Sige, isa pa. Paano naman kung ito? Sige, try to solve that. Sige, ihi ka muna, Regeline. Okay lang. Are you sure about your answers? Parang mali. Okay. Are those your final answers? Let us check. Okay. So, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. 27 plus 5, 32, right? So we have 32 over 9, okay, and then 4 divided by, right? And then we need to change the divisor and change the operation to multiplication. So we're going to be 9 over... 32 and 4 are giving over 1 yan. Okay? So 9 and 32, we have 4 as their GCF. One. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 32 divided by 4 eight. is 8. Eight. So our answer is 9 over 8. eight. Okay, so we got the answer. 1. Eight. Okay, Sophie, kaya lang, ginawang. Dapat hindi, hindi ginawang mixed number, okay? Sabihin ko sa inyo bakit mamaya hindi pwede ko mixed number, okay? Princess, Ortiz, Denise, okay, you got it correct. Annika, Dahlia, Vaughn, okay, you got it correct, okay? So, bakit nga ba hindi natin pa pwede doing mixed number? Bakit? Kasi... So, susunod yung pag-aaralan, we have 2A polar 3A okay? Magkakaroon na kayo ng mga ganyan next time. Okay? So, that's why hindi kita pwedeng gawing mixed number yung mga rational numbers. Kaya naman, binago ang 
pangalan niya pagdating sa high school. Pagdating sa high school, rational numbers na mga fractions. Okay? Okay, next. So, kung alam niyo na lahat yan, let's have a test muna. You. Test muna tayo. Ready? So, pag sinabit niyo sa akin, kailangan sunod-sunod ha, hindi pa isa-isa ha. Pag ganyan, okay? Okay. Let's have number one. Wow, ang sakit sa tenga nun.
Uh, yung may mga galaw dyan na, ano, i-mute nyo nga yung microphone nyo. Kapag nasa movie tayong quiet place, naku, pinuha ka na. Serious na serious yung mga batuta. Baka nagamit kayo ng calculator dyan, ha? Okay, let me check yours, Rizaline. Kalang ha. Ang bibilis ha. Ang bibilis ng mga batuta ha. Sige, yeah, chinachikan ko pa. Wait lang, Rizaline. May mga mali. I'll give you the scores later on. Okay lang. Make sure to check your answers, ha? Fifteen.
Check. Sorry, Jeline, you got three over six. Sophie. Mm. Ah, Sophie, wag mong gawing mixed number yung mga yan. Okay, ulit. Um, yung num sige na nga, wag na, wag na. I understood na. Pero next time, kapag improper fraction na yun, wag mo nang gagawin na. Uh, mix number, okay? Okay, so three, five over six. Next. Um. JC two over six. Dahlia, three over six. Okay, princess. Princess. Medyo hindi pa pa naintindihan. Hindi ka ba? One over six. Kyla, two over six. Ah, hindi na uulitin yung mali. Si Vaughn, may sagot na ba? Tsaka si Denise? Chloe, 
Beya and Annika. No need to repeat your uh, answers, pero check in nyo. Kung may mga mali kayo, nacha-check nyo kung saan kayo nagkamali. Pero na-record ko na yung scores nyo. Okay, Denise. Denise, 3 over 6. Okay, Chloe. Three over six then. Mm. Sino pa? Anika and Bea? Vaughn, wala pa. Okay, let us check Vaughn. Okay, Vaughn, you got five over six. Ah, oh, Sinapam. Why not finish? Hmm. How about yung iba? Mamaya, bibigay ko yung final answer. We are going to answer it together. Anika and Bea, tapos na ba? Okay. Three over six, Anika. Bea, ikaw na lang. Si Kyla ba nag-submit na? Okay. Okay, finish na? Bea? Okay. Okay, Bea, 4 over 6. 
Okay, let us try to answer. Okay, 8 over 6. So, we need to add this one. Ano ginamit nyo dito? Automatic, nakita nyo, no? May 42 na. So, hindi na natin kailangan i-multiply pa yan. Automatic, 42 na ang kanyang denominator. 42 divided by 7, we have 6. Uh, unmute nyo na yung mga microphone nyo. Uh, so, 42 divided by 7, we have 6 times 8, we have 48. Diba? 42 divided by 42, so just the same. Okay, ang answer natin is 54 over 42, or ang lowest term niya ay 9 over 7. Kasi ang kanyang GCF ay 6. 54 divided by 6, 9. 42 divided by 6 is equal to 9. Next, let's go to the next number. Okay, mixed number yan. Huwag nang pakailaman itong dalawang whole number. O, sabi ko, huwag makailam. ba? Okay, so ang pakailaman lang natin ay itong fractions niya. So, 3 over 8. At saka si 1 fourth. Okay? So, pag ginawa natin butterfly method yan. Okay? 8 times 4 is equal to... Ah, papwede na rin pala natin makuha to. You'll also get the same answer. So, 8. Okay? Pero pwede mo rin gawing butterfly to kasi maliit naman yung number. So, 32. 32. 3 times 4. We have 12. And then, 8. So, ang answer natin is 20 over 32 or 5 over 8. So, we have 7 plus 5, 12 wait lang, wait lang. over 8. Okay, next. How about this one? Tatlo. Hindi na natin pwede gamitin ng butterfly dito. So, 3, 9, at saka 6. Ano ang kanilang LCD? 18, di ba? So, 18 divided by 6, we have... What is the answer? 18 divided by 6. 3 times 10, we have 30. Minus 18 divided by 9, 2 times 2, we have 4. Then 18 divided by 3, 6 times 1, 6 is equal to 6. Very good. Then 30 minus 4, minus 6, we have 20 over 18 or 10 over 9. Okay, next. 8 times 9. Okay, ito ay whole number. Wala siyang fraction na kalaban. So, ano lang gagawin nyo? Mumultiply nyo lang yung dalawang whole number. ba? 8 times 9 is 72. And 3 over 8. Ang dami hindi nakakuha nito. Hmm? Next. 5 and 2 thirds divided by... 34. So, gawin nyo muna ng improper fraction to. 3 times 5, 15. Plus 2, we have 17. So, 17 over 3 divided by 34. And what is the reciprocal of 34? 1 over 34. Okay? At 1 over 34, pwede natin paliitin. 17 ang kanilang GCF. So, 70 divided by 17 is 1. 34 divided by 17 is 2. So, we have 1, 6. Okay? Next. 7 over 10 divided by 5. So, we get the reciprocal of 
the divisor, which is 5, ano, 1 fifth, and then proceed to multiplication. Meron ba tayo papaliitin dito? Wala. So, 7 over 50. Um, lahat ba? Nakuha? Huh? So, our highest for today is... Sino naka-highest? Sophie and Vaughn. Congratulations! We got the highest score today. Sana all. Tinatalo ka na, Anika. Tinaantok na ako. Tinaantok na ako. O, sige, kain na kayo. Then tomorrow... Pero hindi pa ako nag-lunch. Ako din, hindi pa ako nag-lunch. Then tomorrow... So, alam niyo na yan, ha? Okay, I saw ko. May questions pa ba kayo or gusto nyo sa another topic na? Another topic. Okay. Another topic. Ang susunod nating topic will be about the principal roots of the exponents. Okay? Principal roots na exponents. And of course, sa exponent, huwag nyo kakalimutan na isa rin yan sa operations. So, yun ang topic natin Yay! tomorrow. Principal roots of exponents. Okay? Principal roots of rational numbers. Okay ba? Yes. Ano ba yung mga rational numbers uh, natin? Counting numbers, both numbers, integers, and fractions and decimals. Okay? Okay. So, kukunin natin lahat. Amin! Ah, ma! Naka-open yung mic ko. Oo, oh, sino yan? Mami ko po. <laughs> sino ko ba? Ano ba? Ha? Po. Oh. Oo, oh, okay na? May isa na alas bukas. Uh, tomorrow, titingnan ko muna. Kasi baka may skin ako. Ah, uh, rin ako sa iba. Aside from me. Ha? 9pm. 9pm? Huwag mo naman. Gabing-gabi na. Gabi na. Uh, baka, ba, baka, tingnan natin. If I have a sked um, sa afternoon, susunod naman yung susunod kayo. Okay? Gising pa ba kayo nun? Apa, miss. Talaga? Uh, Ay, sige. Na, Oh, sige, ayaw niyo ba ng umaga? Wag na, miss! Ayaw niyo ng umaga? Miss, oh. late na po ako nagigising. Late na, bakit? Kaka-tiktok? <laughs> Hindi, miss. Ano Lala lang, kaka-netflix. <laughs> ah, kaka-netflix. Oh, sige. Oh, sino magagaling mag-tiktok dito? Eh, ano, sa Anika? Oh. Uy, diyo, nagigit ako kay Sophie. Napapanood ko lang kay Sophie. Si Bea, nagitig ko. Wala. Hindi ba? Wala ko. Bea, panonood lang. Panonood ka. Ha? Wala ko yung nagitig ko. Si Bea, maranok, nagitig ko. Panonood lang siya, Miss. Ha? Ha? Ano? Ha? Ako, sorry. Hindi ako magitig ko. Sige, pag nagkita ka naman. Kaya ML. Next time, let's have ML kaya ako. Saya tayo. Okay? Sige, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ang gagaling nyo ngayon. Bye-bye. Ito na aras. Ha? Hiya, ano na sila ko din sa online math class na natin. Ha? It's either 1 o'clock or pakagabi na. Ha? Kasi baka mamaya magkaroon ako ng skit ng na tayo mga kapatid. Okay? Ngayon kasi wala akong skit. Ha? Okay? So, goodbye class. Bye, Miss. Bye, Bye Miss. Bye, Miss. Bye, Miss. Bye. Thank you for today.